Welcome to Fentor. Today is a 16th birthday MOT for this bike. Stay tuned to find out more. It still goes as good as new. Let's hope the VMOT is okay. I'm on my way to Freedom Motorcycles in the heart of the Fens. They're great guys and they look after my bike's MOTs and servicing. So, uh, 16th birthday MOT and service coming up. So this is why you don't want to ever come to the fens. Look at this. The roads are covered in shit, a tractor full of shit. It is shit. Rant over. Why am I not overtaking? You want me to drive through that shit? Suzuki GSX 1400. It's a muscle bike of old now. I would say that if you've ever thought about one of these, probably a good time to buy one. Make sure you get a good one before values start to rise. Well, that's my prediction. It may be a load of old, you know what. But I think these are going to become more and more, or good ones, unmolested. I say unmolested. Um, Ones that have had tasteful and well made and well put together modifications um, will be probably worth more and more money. So probably a good uh, bike to to invest in. But don't buy it for making money. Buy it to ride. And if you want some grunt, this has plenty. I'm now in the town of March in the centre of the fens. Here we are. Freedom Motorcycles. Oops. Look at this beauty. MOT'd and serviced. I'm in luck. On its 16th birthday, it completely passed its MOT. Fantastic. A quick mention about Freedom Motorcycles in March, Cambridgeshire. The guys I use for my servicing and MOTs. They, uh, the guys I purchased my Victory Hammer from. Um, and continue to work with the same company that owned Victory, but uh, they now sell the Indian range of bikes. If you, if you like those, then they're, they're great guys to deal with. But they don't just sell brand new Indians, they sell plenty of second-hand bikes. And they really do look after their customers. That's my experience, and I've not heard anything, uh, anything less from anyone else. So I thoroughly recommend those guys to... Um, to go and uh, deal with for motorbikes if you live in the Cambridgeshire area or Finland area. I do love the sound of this machine. Be careful here. Filthy roads. Can't believe it's um, so many years ago, 16 years, when I took delivery of this beastie. Since then, 
um, or about halfway through me my ownership. I was getting bored, so went for a full Akropovic system, Power Commander, Dyno setup. It completely changed the bike, it reduced the weight considerably, so it turned turns in a lot better than it did originally with the twin exhaust, but the the top end mid-range grunt it's extremely um, extremely good now big smiles so I think I should be keeping this for some time if you're looking to get one then you take some care uh, get one that's been loved and cared for probably now's the time because I reckon these are going to go up in value probably not worth a lot at the moment but in a few years time right let's do some more riding the 1400 in top gear just pulls like a train. And that's six gear, easy, just easy. If you've enjoyed today's video, please subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll be notified of my next upload. Thank you very much.